attempt. The great one, Mark Levin, is going to break down the history of the law behind this that nobody else in the media can or will do. Eric Trump will weigh in on the... You're going to hear many things from many sources about this man, Herman Cain, who has suffered from cancer and other illnesses in his past. More recently, he has suffered from what we all know today as the coronavirus. And it wasn't directly contracted from any Trump rally that the press will lead you to believe because it was sometime later, a minimum of 20 days later after the Trump rally that he actually got sick. The fact of the matter is he was actually doing pretty good considering his rough condition and his poor lungs. He was actually on his way getting better and actually got better when he died. So before you start trusting any hospital or any news outlet, speak to the doctor. More importantly, don't speak to the hospital. Speak to the coroner. Find out what the reason he died. The news media outlets will have you believe he died of COVID-19. He did not. I will prove it to you and show it to you. You can log on JeromeRobinson.com and you can read all the facts behind the Robinson Report, which will show you that Herman Cain did not die from COVID-19. In fact, nobody has to die from COVID-19. There is more doctors in this world that know that there's a cure, but they're being shut out because of big pharmaceutical, and more importantly, from Dr. Fauci, who is stands to gain millions and millions, and I'm talking hundreds of millions of dollars from vaccinations funded by Bill Gates. There's a lot more to this than you could possibly think. And there's no movie that would ever be believable that could show the conspiracy that's going on today. I am not a conspiracy theorist, not even in the slightest. I am the rooster. Everything I do is based on facts. It's investigative journalism at its best. I don't have a hidden agenda. I do not get paid for what I do. I do not look for glory. I look to change and educate the ignorant. I promise you, I want the best for you. I want the best for my family and nothing more. With one exception, I look to serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Trust in the Robinson Report. Trust in your own gut. You know better. Stop being blind. You know that masks are bad for you, for example. You learned it in high school. What toxic chemical? Think. You can research it. What toxic chemical are you breathing in every time you wear a mask? It's a deadly poison. We're not supposed to breathe in. Same reason if you breathe into a paper bag in order to relieve anxiety. You're doing more harm than good. Now Dr. Fauci wants you to wear goggles. The scare is what sells the vaccine. Don't fall victim to it. Stand up. You know better. You're not a dummy. I don't have to be here telling you this for what you already know. You can go on to JeromeRobinson.com where YouTube or Facebook can't block the truth. No more. It's not a matter of political... It's not a matter of Democrats versus Republicans. Use your brain for once. I am the rooster. I love you. I do. And I'm out. So I'd love to close it there, but I have one important message I have to tell you. So important. If you have the coronavirus, AKA if you have COVID-19, do not go to a hospital. The breathing treatments that they give you do not work. They do not prescribe you the correct medication because they get paid more if you pass away. They get paid 
close to 35,000 if you pass away. If you die of a drug overdose or a heart attack or a car accident, if they put on the paperwork that you have have COVID-19, they get almost $20,000. Go to a doctor who will prescribe you the right medication. Do not go to a hospital that won't prescribe you the right medication. You could go to the hospital for one thing. They will put you in a COVID-19 care facility, test you, show that you have COVID-19, and now once you die from COVID-19, they get paid. Do not trust the hospital. It's not run by doctors, it's run by bureaucrats. Go to a doctor that cares. Thank you.